In today's video, I will be showing you something which everyone should know how to do and do properly, and that is tying knots. There will come a time when you will need to know how to tie the proper knot for a particular circumstance, and your life may even depend on it. To get started, I will show you how to make a figure eight knot, which is used as an end knot to keep rope from pulling through a hole. A figure eight can also be used with another knot as added protection against the end of the rope from pulling through. Take the end of the rope, make a loop. Once the loop has been made, cross over, bring it around that side, then you're going to go over and out the other side of the loop. You see the figure eight, pull nice and tight. You're gonna pull each side of the knot in and now you have a knot that will be strong enough to not be pulled through a hole or you can even use this on the end of the rope to prevent it from pulling through another knot. If you're looking for an end knot that has more bulk, you can make a double figure eight, also known as a Steve Doors knot. Take the loop, cross over, then you're going to go under with two loops. So that's the first one go around, that's the second one, and then you go through here, and then you pull. Pull the knot tight, and then you have a much bulkier end knot that you can use. The next knots I'm going to show you are used for joining two ropes together. The first knot I'm going to show you is a square knot. Square knots are extremely simple to make, but they don't work so well using slippery rope. So if you have rope like this, it'll work fine. If it's the slippery poly ropes, you're not going to want to use it. Make a loop. You're going to pass the other rope under. Under both sides. And back through where you came in. You can see it right there, and you pull tight very tight and then you have a great way to tie two ropes together. The next knot I'm going to show you is called a surgeon's knot. It works much better on slippery types of rope and it's extremely strong. Take both ends, wrap twice, it's once, twice, all right, over here, another knot, Pull tight, pull tight, and this is a very strong knot for joining two ropes together. The next way to join two ropes together is called a fisherman's knot. Just tie a loop in one end, slide this knot over the other rope come over here now and tie another knot pull that knot tight pull this knot tight and then you pull on the ropes and bring the two knots together you can then pull each end of the rope tighter again this is a very strong way to tie two ropes together this knot right here is probably the strongest way to tie two ropes together at least I think it's the strongest way. Pull one back. You're going to want to make three loops. That's one loop. That's two loops. Three loops. Take it through the top of all three. Like that, and then pull. All right, that's one. You're going to repeat the same knot on the other side. One, two, three, take the end through all three and pull. All right, so you got three and three. Pull on each rope. Tighten up the knots really tight. I don't want to get carried away because it's a very good knot and it may not come apart. Pull. Now, the stronger you pull on that, it's going to tighten these knots down. This to me is the best way to tie 
two lines together. The next knot I'm going to show you for joining two ropes together is called a sheet bend. Now the sheet bend is used to tie a thinner rope onto a thicker rope. For this demonstration, the red rope will be your thicker rope. The smaller rope will pass through the loop, around and under both, over the red rope, under the black, and pulled nice and tight pull that and then pull those. You can see the way it locks with the black rope. A very secure way to tie a thinner rope onto a thicker one. The next group of knots I'm going to show you are knots used for tying ropes to objects. The first one is going to be a knot which is very reliable and useful for attaching a rope to a pole or a boat mooring. It consists of two half hitches Take the end of the rope, wrap it around the pole, pass it under, then over. Then you're going to go behind and in between. And then you're going to pull like that. You can see the way it's shaped. Pull tight, and then you can draw that in and snug it up with the end of the rope. And that is extremely strong an excellent way to tie onto a post or a tree or anything else. The next knot is called a timber hitch. It could be used the same way as the previous knot or it can be used for dragging a heavy object like a log. Take the end of the rope, wrap it around the post or the tree, pass it under, go back over, and then you're going to wind it around around four times and then you pull. Pull nice and tight. Slide that down. That's another very strong way to secure a knot around a post or a tree. Now if you want to be able to drag this you're going to have to put another loop higher up. Make one more loop in the rope like that. Fold it over and pull tight. Now you can pull the object around. Another very useful knot that you can use is called a pipe hitch. The pipe hitch is an extremely useful knot used for lifting a bar or post straight up. You may have something buried in the ground that's vertical and you'd like to retrieve it from the ground. This is an excellent knot for that purpose. Take the end of the rope, wrap it around the post a few times, three or four times. All right, then you're going to go under, through there, behind, and through the loop, and then secure. Just pull the end of the rope as you do it. That's very strong. It will not come off, and you could also add another one of those twists on top, like that, to keep it nice and straight as you're pulling it up out of the ground. The next knot I'm going to show you is a taut line hitch. This knot is great for pitching tents or securing loads on your vehicle. It allows you to tighten or loosen the line. When using this knot, one end of the rope is secured to a fixed location and the other end goes around another point that you can tighten from. Take the end of the rope, pass it under. You're going to do two wraps on the inside. Once you have the two on the inside, you're then going to go behind over here and through the front and pull, make the knot tight. Pull that tight. And as you can see, the rope is tight at that point. I could slide it this way. And now it's tight at that point. And if I want to make the rope tighter, you just keep pulling and pulling on here. And the rope will become tighter and tighter. Just make sure this knot is very tight here. And it will not slip. That is a taut line. No matter where you position the knot, the rope will stay exactly where it is. It will not slip. 
if the knot is made properly. Now I'm going to show you my favorite knot, the one I use most often. It's extremely strong, it will never slip or jam, and can also be used for rescuing people. It's called a bowline. I'm going to demonstrate on this padlock. Place the rope through. You're going to go under like that. This crosses over, through here, under, over, and back through there, and you pull tight. This will not slip on either side. Extremely strong and very easy to undo. You just pull apart right here. Doesn't matter how tight you are pulling on it, it comes apart fairly easy compared to other knots. Now I'm going to show you a couple of useful knots for tying to objects or for fishing, such as a fishing hook. The name of this knot is called a palomar. Make a loop, the end of the rope. Take that loop, feed it through. Then you're going to tie a knot in that loop. Take that end of the knot, stretch it around the object if you can get around it. Pull tight, and now you have an extremely strong knot, and that will never come undone. You can pull as much as you want on that line, it will not come out. Another great fishing knot is called the clinch knot. Pass the end of the rope through the eyelet. You're then going to wrap over about five times. Once that's done, you can slide a little bit up like that. Pass through the eyelet. Now if you leave it the way you see here and you pull this end tight and you pull these up, it's strong, but I like to lock it. Go back through here, and now you can pull up. That locks it all in. Pull tight, pull up, pull like that. Right there, you have a very strong knot. I've never had any of these ever come undone while fishing. The next knot I'm going to show you will allow you to add a loop onto a rope if you want to clip on a harness. Simply go like this. Then you're going to take this line here, bring it halfway, then take this loop here, pass it through there, and then you're going to pull up. You're going to pull that nice and tight. Once that's tightened, you now have a nice loop on a line that you can clip onto. Another variation of making a non-slip loop in the middle of a rope is called the alpine butterfly. And you're going to make a loop in it like that, come around, mirror image of that loop on this side, over the front, and you're going to place this one on top of that one. Grab the end of this, pass it through, and pull. This is very strong. Just make sure the knot is tight. Pull both sides. And you have a great tie point for a latch, or you could tie another rope from this point going in a different direction. I actually prefer this knot over the previous knot. The next knot I'm going to show you is called a strangle knot. There are many uses for this type of a knot. I have used this many times for tying hammocks to trees. You can secure the top of bags, and you can even help stop bleeding in the event of a severe injury. Making the strangle knot is very easy. Start here, wind around once, go under, come around again, over the first part of the rope. Leave it a little loose, because you're going to have to take this end and shove it under both of these. Like that and now you're able to pull very tight on that. 
If this was around the limb that you were bleeding from and you pulled this tight, the bleeding should stop. The next knot I'm going to show you is called a packer's knot. It is one of the best ways to begin wrapping a package. So you take your rope, you're going to go over, around, you're going to go back that way, and then over the top here, and you're going to pull that tight. Now you got a nice slip knot here. You could put over the package like you see right here, and when you go to pull, it tightens down securely. Once the knot is tightened down securely, you can then wrap across the package and then tie off an end knot. The last knot I'll be showing you is called an underwriter's knot. This is ideal for people working with electrical wiring. Making this knot is simple. Separate the wires four inches from the end. Make a loop like that. This loop comes around this way and feeds through the first loop. Pull the two wires and right there you have an underwriter's knot. The wire is now secured and cannot be pulled out of a box. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlists as well. Thank you very much for watching.